What is cracking, Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, aka the Jump Rope Coach. I'm here with the main girl, Abigail. Say what's up. Hello. So today's video, we are going through the reveal, the full reveal of the new RAHQ, aka Fly City. Abigail's gonna be kind of seeing it really kind of for the last time, first yeah. time. Does yeah, kind of hopefully sense? not the last time. Not the last time. <laughs> but she's seen it like kind of during the build and you haven't really seen the finished product. So yeah. this is gonna be her first reaction to certain things and uh, hopefully a lot of yours as well. And I think you're gonna love it. We're gonna go through all the kind of areas, all the key kind of highlights. And I'm really proud of this one, guys. This, is a, this was a massive project. And by the end of this video, you're gonna find out how much I actually spent. You got any ideas? I mean, I think it's high. <laughs> yeah, well, you'll find out by the end of this video. So stay tuned, watch the whole thing through. We're gonna talk about her thoughts, her ideas, how it came to life. And hopefully you guys are gonna love this one. So let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Fly City. Thank you. Your own creation. Very nice. What do you think? Yeah, I love it. Abigail's it first great. proper look at her own, her own little designs. It's looking good. We're in the first ever jump rope shop in the world. Yeah. Boutique, RA store. I want you to try and explain to us how you made this empty shell. And bear in mind that the guys at home are going to be seeing what it used to look like. Yeah. Like literally bare bone brick. Tell us how you sort of divided this kind of place up and like how you devised this kind of shop space. Yeah, so the idea was to have a, a retail space when you first come in. Um, and so this is, the, this is the sort of big ta-da when you come in and every, you sort of see all the merchandise displayed. You wanted to have your skipping, um, your pod at the back. So this is the sort of the front of house space mm -hmm. where you come in and you're sort of introduced to, to Fly City. The back is, so we wanted to create more of a broken plan than an open plan. Yeah. Um, so you've got barriers that are acting as sort of privacy dividers between the back of house space and the front of house space. Um, but you still sort of get glimpses across the whole space. There's nothing that's sort of That's what's nice about it. So if you take it from like sort of this angle here, so like as you come through as like a customer, you kind of have that, like you said, that little kind of glimpse of all the kind of madness. Even though this space, it may be a little bit smaller than we'd want yes, in the ideal yeah. world. Obviously I'd love a, like a massive store and like two levels and all this and fill it up with everything. It's more for customers to come in, have a chance to see the products if they want to yeah. pick up the products. Um, but it wasn't kind of the main attraction of really the whole yes. place, wasn't it? It was kind of like, the, the nice to have for us. Yes, yeah, it's not, this place is not about the shop, it's yeah. about everything that's upstairs and everything else around here. Yeah. But this sort of gives you a nice front of house space where people can come in and interact with the brand um, while you're in the back and sorting out all of the, you've got masses and masses of space in the back yeah. for all of your warehouse. Enough space for activities and <laughs> warehousing. This is like a dream for me. The warehouse space is a dream. We've already gone through that in one of the other videos. But for this space here, like, What's cool about this, and I know this was a little bit off plan with your design, it was. was this flooring. <laughs> it kind of has this kind of marbly kind of texture, but it's actually resin epoxy. Yeah, we wanted to try and do this kind of cloudy vision, wavy, black, grays, whites, all yep. that stuff. Yeah. We've got the They Will Me Fly logo right through the middle. So it kind of has a bit more of a kind of premium feel. Yeah, I mean, originally we were thinking of having all of the mannequins, sort of right? mannequins yeah. and hanging ropes and stuff in the middle. But really, you don't, now that we've got things like the toilet and stuff in this space here, yeah. we, it, there isn't enough space. So I think this, this works really well in, in defining your brand. It's got the right colors, it's got the right branding. So, yeah, floor is hard. Yeah. Look, this is like a quick one I've got to show you. This one is just our toilet, bathroom, loo, what you guys call it in your country. If you need to use some facilities, other facilities, we've got, we've got you covered. These are like kind of our like oldest pieces. Oh, okay. So some of like my first, this is like my first ever t-shirt. Oh wow. Ever created. <laughs> like you can see like how basic the designs were, but like it, it kind of has a nice little place in my heart. Yeah, we, we have this one at home actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a true one if you've got one of those. And then obviously on that side, the display is where we've got like our current products. Yeah, the most up-to-date um, stuff. just a really quick snapshot for a customer to see what we're producing or what, what they can yeah, select from. This is the fly pod, guys. I feel like we need to sort of kill the other lights, but I don't know if you'll, you'll be able to see it properly in full, but... I think you has do. It, has it kind of come out, how you, how yeah, you yeah, envision this, this space? Yeah, yeah, this is massive. So like, guys, the fly, really the, the fly pod was like a kind of, kind of vision in my head where I wanted a space where people could come, I could train you guys one-to-one, -one, or customers could come, test products, especially like those who don't have all my ropes, they can sort of say, listen, I'm not sure what kind of rope, if it's heavy, if it's light, if it's speed, money, da-da-da, and they could just come into the space, we have it all lined up for them and then they can just like, yeah, have a bash around and then they can say, all right, I'm going to take this home. So when I spoke to Abigail about it, um, I said, yeah, make it cool as possible. And actually she came up with the name sort of pod. I think it came the up pod. as the pod. Yeah, and then yeah. I kind of obviously added fly because I just have no creativity like that. But <laughs> I thought it sounded kind of cool. 
And um, yeah, talk us through kind of like your vision of this space as well, because this is amazing. This room. So everything, where, where there's action in this building, everything is very black yeah. and dramatic and you've got neon lights and that's what, where, where you're kind of doing your skipping, that's, that's, the, that's the design style. So this is obviously very black. Um, there are glimpses out, so you, you don't sort of feel kind of closed in in yeah. this space here. Um, but that you, so you've got glimpses out, you can see what's going on, but the, the mesh is black, so it still feels like you're enclosed within this pod. Um, we've got neon lights, which just a they're cool. Yeah, <laughs> they look cool. LEDs are cool. Yeah, uh, but but at the same time, it, it forms this grid, so you can sort of centre yourself when you're skipping. Yeah. So you know exactly where to stand, um, and then you've got the mirror on one side, so that you can see everything. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, you can see so what we, you're doing. So we added the the sort of different touch on, on the floor. We went with like a full branded floor here, the Money Rep logo. We originally were meant to have, I think you wanted mirrors all along, didn't I you? I did, but I wanted them, I think, behind mesh. So, which went against the, the main architect and <laughs> designer here, but like, I, kind of, I kind of, only reason I didn't put mirrors on the back wall, guys, is because I kind of vision the filming happening from this side for mm -hmm. my own content as well, or for anyone that wants to come and create content. And having mirrors, then you get to see like the cameras and people like Nathan, you'd be able to see him doing what he's doing right now. <laughs> so, a um, little cool feature here. I don't know if you remember this. I do. Do you know where this is from? Yeah, yeah, it's from the last this is, place. This is the original <laughs> RAHQ sign. So this came with us here. So it's got its own little piece there. And it fits uh, perfectly. Yeah, it kind of fit perfectly. I put this up myself as well, I'm very proud of this. <laughs> and this space was quite cool that you designed as well. It's like a little, yeah. what's this called, an alcove? Yeah, or yeah, so this is an alcove. So, so we've got the, the lighting coming down and it's really lighting up these, the ropes, which are the main thing here. Yeah, but yeah, this is where you'd have all your selection of ropes. Uh, mm -hmm. We're gonna put some other accessories in here, the mats and everything else like that. And literally guys, if you were to see it from the outside and just come inside this space, it, the reason why we call it Flypod has that space vibe, it does feel like you're in just a whole new dimension. That was one of right? the briefs to be space age. Yeah. You know, like make it really futuristic, really clean lines, yeah. which it matches your brand. This is phenomenal, this room, because for me, I know that there's, again, nowhere else in the world um, who has created a specific space just for kind of like the skipping kind of world. And so I'm very proud of this. And I really love the fact that yeah, you can see out into these kind of like warehousing spaces. So mm. I think that's the fly pod done. I think you just want to maybe take a look into your little warehouse yeah, and see yeah, what we've done see, here. See what you've done. Let's go check that out. I feel like this space for me now, although it looks really, really full, I need to like move some things around. We've got Black Friday mm -hmm. happening right now, but it's like a dream. Yeah. Like it's like, this is quite <laughs> a fun, the space to it's maneuver. a space because you remember the old, old place, right? Yeah. Like we had just no space. So it's also kind of like a whole new set for me now. Cause what I did was I did change the lighting, um, which I was guess. really not much on the, on the design at the time, but yeah. we did change the lighting to make it a bit more softer. Cause the original ones that came with the warehouse were a bit harsh. I'll shift this out of the way, but they will, they will see it really nicely in here. Because the idea with this was to say that this pod feels like it's flying. Yeah. Because um, it's a fly pod. Yeah. Um, so, so having the LED, so, it's, so we've got the, the walls are cantilevered over the base. This so is called a cantilever wall, yeah? So it, as yeah. it cuts in, yeah? So it's, it sort of sticks out, so it feels like it's floating. And then we've emphasized that with the, the lighting strip that goes around the bottom and it makes yeah. it just feel like it's, well, hopefully it, it makes it feel like it's sort of floating but away when, from when, the But when the lights are all turned off and Nathan will be showing all these shots, when it's turned off, it looks flipping epic. Like it's, yeah. it's so sick. Just those little kind of small details of how the cuts are. And we've also done a little change up on, on Abigail's plan. So originally we were supposed to have a big, I say big, like a kind of change room shower facility here. But then since the emergence of our chili sauce brand, Mama Rush, we had to just change that change room to a, to a to kitchen. Mama Rush. So yeah, we'll do a quick little chat in here. Abigail didn't have, uh, yeah, well, she had no idea I was doing this. So to be fair, I'm kind of like, <laughs> I kind of like change everything. Change of it's a little bit messy in here, but like, yeah, this is just a kitchen, guys. It's the, it's the Mama Rush bottle kitchen. We won't talk about it too much, but that was meant to be a change room. Here is our, sorry, dude. Here is our shower room and our bathroom. So very simple, not much to say nice. here. Nice. We kind of like <laughs> forego the kind of big change room space just to kind of have a, a yeah. shower room anyway. Yeah, you um, can get changed in there. But that's good. yeah, everyone has a bit of space in here. I think that's downstairs done. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Are you impressed? I am. Did I it kind of come out more or less? I know yeah, you yeah. had a, I went off kind of spec a I lot. I mean, things but, change as you're designing yeah. and things, and when things are going up. So yeah, like I, I expected that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, this is, I, this is very much on, on the original design. Yeah. This, and this that's is, just looking amazing. It's epic. So. Every time I was like, every day I was like watching the builders do their stuff. I'm like, oh, I hope happy girl likes this. Hope happy girl. <laughs> I, like, I had more stress from you than like anything else. I was like, cause you put in so much time and effort into this place. Yeah. I didn't want to like kind of let it down like the amount of time and yeah that you put in to like design this up. But 
We've got some cool things. The decals really kind of like spiced it up a little bit. Yeah. Guys, you're gonna love upstairs. This is this is really the the kind of what's the word I'm looking for? The main event. This is the main event. <laughs> this is the attraction. This is why when you guys come here, you understand why this is really the home of jump rope fitness and lifestyle. I wanted to, I wanted both of you guys to sign this one. So okay, I'll sign this one. This one, right? Yeah. So here's Abigail's plans on the wall, guys. History on paper. I think the colour sort of draws you up here. It makes you feel like there's something exciting at the top of it. Yeah. Um, and obviously this is is beautiful and yeah. it kind of sets the vibe. But I think it, it sort of draws you up. It's not a back of house stair. It's a, it no. sort of takes you to the main this event. This is the back cave. Okay. Main floor. Nice. What's your first reactions? Yeah, it looks incredible. The yeah. lighting just kills it. The lighting, the lighting, you always said the lighting was always the main thing. Yeah, right? the, the lighting is the main feature here. Um, and this is looking good. This is looking good, right? So yeah. I'll have a little explanation for the guys at home. So this main floor, which we've named main floor guys, is the main production studio for my YouTube videos. Of course, you know, I've done a few tutorials now. Then we're gonna be using it for workout classes. Fitness instructors are gonna come down here, hopefully grab content, collaborations, uh, RA events. So we've got the launch party. January 14th, if you go online right now guys and you're watching this video, click the Fly City tab and then you'll see opening tickets and then it's a ballot. So sign your name up, you've got a limited capacity, but this is where the main action is going to always pretty much be. So yeah, yeah. tell us about how, how the, this came together, how this came together, <laughs> because you again had an empty space and when you guys see what this looked like beforehand, when I used to bring Nathan down here, we used to look at each other right brother and we used to be like, I don't know how this is going to come alive like with your 3D kind of video. So mm -hmm. tell us how you kind of designed yeah, so here. I guess you've got to look at it this way. Yeah. Um, and basically everything that is for skipping and sort of events and all of the sort of things that you're going to do here yeah. is, is covered by this black floor in yeah. the center. So, but we've got black on the floor and we've got black on the ceiling. Right. So that's sort of setting the language of what's happening in this space. But then as you go to the edges, we've got different functions. We've got so many different functions that are happening in the same space, yeah. which is, it's a lot to sort of fit in and make everything work together. Um, so, that, so we've got this sort of white walkway around the edge of the, the stage, and that's mirrored on the ceiling. Um, and then we've got all of the different back of house spaces and front of house Little spaces zones. on the sides. Yeah. Um, I think they, I, I like the way you like sort of designed this kind of black bit in the middle yeah. and it kind of gave a vibe remember i said just i want it to feel like the old hq yes like yeah. but in a bigger kind of setting yeah like this whole kind of arch and then we've gone with this like huge three meter logo peeps fan like yeah it's like the... i think when you come up like your eyes are drawn to this wall here so yeah. this is the feature wall and for all of your videos and everything everything's got to be facing towards this one direction yeah so when you're doing all of your skipping over here you've got this text on the floor that's that's angling straight to you. You've got your lights that are pointing straight at you. Yeah, and, this the is the arrow, sort of... and the arrow lights were like a feature of the last place, right? Yes, so we have the arrow yeah. lights. This logo, this flooring peeps is like high-end, premium, proper gym flooring that you get like in like the top gyms. The logo like runs like, like nearly like five or six meters or something like that. So very epic. We're gonna go and, I don't know, where do you wanna go? There's like a <laughs> few little spots that you can, you can um, sort of talk about. Should we start with the, maybe the bar? Yeah, the bar. And the then we'll move around. Plop a quick seat at the at the sky bar, peeps. <laughs> so, what? How did this even? You know, what, I, I was trying to figure out it the other day, and I remember that this wall was supposed to be mirrors. Originally, yes, it wasn't supposed to yeah. be a bar, or like kind of like this. What it looks like now, and I think this looks looks pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah. No, what were we supposed really to have? Good. Because so the, it wasn't going to be a bar, was the it? The bar was supposed to be in the center. So when oh, you yeah. come up, you you go straight to the bar, and everything. All of the sorry, my seat my seat keeps spinning around. <laughs> um, all of the you've got these hanging um, shelves were sort of sort of setting the tone of the bar. Yeah. Um, but we, because you wanted the golf simulator, we had to, to shift it over here. I think it does break up the space well. Yeah. And we've gone for, for more LED lights and a uh, cool bit of, bits of branding. Yeah. This doesn't actually have a official title. I've called it the creative room. Yeah. This is the space that gave me a bit of headache. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, because of the glass. Yes, yeah, um, this glass detail. I was always a bit like, yeah, scared about how it'd work out, but I think it's kind of worked out how you planned. Yeah, so I think because it's a, it's not the main space, the main space is very black and very dramatic, but this is a space for working. So we've got the office on one side and we've got 
this sort of meeting space Meter, on yeah. in the other side, it's, it sort of feels like it's the corner's been carved away. Um, and then you see into the space, which has got the same sort of dramatic lighting, the dark walls, um, but, but from the outside, everything's nice and white, nice and sort of clean. It has this kind of, it does have this creative vibe. Also, like, I do love the glass impact, like, because it feels transparent, obviously it's transparent. Yeah, so but you it feel feels connected. Like connected to the room, you feel yeah. like, um, you feel like you're not just enclosed into like a, a sort of normal, normal space, but <laughs> we're supposed to go around, <laughs> so I can see children in the wall. Keep that in, man. It's getting a bit tight here. No, so some, so we, what we, what we talked about in here was we wanted obviously cool lighting, but uh -huh. we wanted the mood to bring out our creative side, which yes. is why it's called the kind of creative room, design room, meeting room. This is where kind of like we want ideas to be generated. So mm -hmm. talk us again through. I know there's a few changes we'll talk about. Yeah, so, so you wanted to have all of your merchandise. So we've got the hangers. They were yeah. supposed to be on this side, but yeah. that's fine. Um, and, <laughs> but <forgot>. yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. You, you can kind they of pull out side. your clothes. They were, but this yeah. is cool. This is this is very nice, so it's okay. Um, so yeah, you're, so you can kind of talk about your clothes. Um, you can put them up. You can have meetings and, and sort of just blast ideas through. Yeah. Um, so yeah. We when we started designing this room and when we started kind of kicking it out with stuff. Mm. So the so the guy Gary who did the flooring downstairs said you know we can make you kind of like a quirky table like a cool table an aluminium kind of liquid style table. Mm -hmm. So this is where the the kind of boardroom style table came in or the kind of idea. So it's just a kind of nice little touch I think it's got a little RE logo in here very yeah, subtle in the middle. Yeah. It's looking good. Um, and then we just topped it off with a bit of yellow yellow because we don't actually have a lot of yellow in the middle space no. which is weird it's just the logo so we just we just kind of touched it up with this it's good to have the little accents of yellow so yeah. it's not the main thing but no. it's just kind of throwing it around it sets the vibe of your your branding that's it and so then it kind of had these steel legs and then this kind of wall was what I'm, what I'm calling this like the wall of flames okay it's like the wall like of history <laughs> Nathan's got a big part in this wall as well a lot of imagery taken over the years a lot of kind of like moments um mm. important moments I've got like my first ever image taken there at the Eiffel Tower, which is kind of oh, like yeah. a mad place to have your first ever skipping image taken. But yeah, yeah, we've got like kind of the run through of the old HQ and then here when it was an open space. So yeah, some cool moments. We'll, we'll probably use that for another video one time, maybe like a little history blast in the past kind of video. Our new podcast studio. Boom, all right, okay. after you. Thank you. Brief chit chat on my side quickly. Uh, we originally bought the Tesla for a podcast studio, a mobile podcast studio. Then we realized after the first run that the sound and maybe safety is a little bit of an issue with it. So again, the dream was to have a room, a studio, something kind of purpose built, soundproof things and really cool kind of setup. So that's where we got to this. And uh, this pretty much changed a lot though, didn't it? It's freestyle. It's, it's <laughs> this has been very freestyle. And yeah. a lot of it has been me just kind of getting back and forth with you, like how we're gonna get a booth Yes. Are we going to get a booth? Yeah. Are we, how are we going to do the seating? Yeah. So then I kind of just went with my kind of silliness and just thought, you know, I want a space room. So we just yeah, turned it made into it space style. We turned it into a space style. So that's yeah. why all of this is kind of like vintage kind of aviation chairs. Yeah. Uh, we've got the space theme. You've still kept the lighting. We so kept I'm the lighting. With that. So this was like really cool. Like, so, so Abigail's a boss when it comes to like designing lights and how things should look with lights. You're very, like, you're sick thank at everything you. basically. Oh, but you. when it comes to lighting, <laughs> Everything that when people come into this space, like a lot of the things that they always talk about are just how well it looks, how aesthetic it looks. And on top of that, it's like the lighting is amazing. Okay, good. So good. we've got the Abigail touch. So whenever you see stuff like this, you know it's, uh, it's, her, it's hers. But yeah, then we just kind of like topped it up with like kind of the brushed steel logo, mm. the metallicness. Incidentally, that's my first ever camera. I was So it. that's kind of like boxed up in there. Nice. And yeah, I think there's not really much to say about it, but I think it's just important that, you know, you still kind of made this fit. Yeah. You yeah, still yeah. made it fit yeah. on top of that, like <laughs> with the goal simulator, which we'll see next. But yeah, cool room. You like it? Yeah, no, I'm happy with this. Happy I think with it? It, you'll film really nicely when you're yeah. doing all of your, your videos. Next up, we have, I mean, we have my, the goal studio. So, what do you think? Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah. This was a challenge, I have to say. Yeah. So this whole corner has basically been redesigned from the original design. Yeah. Um, so we, I mean, you've got loads and loads of space in the middle, but as you get further and further this way, it gets really, really tight. It gets tight. And you um, were going to originally do like the bar to do yeah, all this. Yeah, yeah. So we were going to have, we were going to have the bar sort of at a diagonal. Uh, there was a lot more angles before, uh, but, but this works. I mean, we, we basically had to remove the bar, move the bar into that corner over there, which is fine. So we got, we have the right amount of space now, but it was a challenge. We had to, you had to sort of 
mimic how you were going to do your golf yeah. to see how much Nathan, hype you had. Nathan, load that video right now on the edit, man. This is, it, it, it was literally me here, ran downstairs. I was like, Nathan, I need to get the golf club right now because we need to make a decision with the, the golf guys. Yes. He was like, how are you doing this? Do you remember that day? And I was literally just like standing here. It was just all empty. And I was like trying to figure out if my club would smash something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think they did, you know what, they did a really good job because actually the way they branded it up for me. Yeah. Because they actually yeah. said to me, like, we can get this wall branded how you want. You did the hard part by trying to get the space for them. Yes. And yeah. then I said to them, you know, you can't go past this way uh, because, yeah, because of the beams and the structure. And, mm -hmm. But I think this is, uh, again, like another favorite space. Have I just, how many times have I said this? <laughs> Every space. <laughs> Every space. <laughs> All right, walking into RE Lounge now. Again, one of these spaces that we kind of just wanted to make look cool. I think it needs a bit of a kind of lounge space. And I, said, I think I said to you that it was, again, more for myself, sometimes the guys who are working, chill, yes. uh, friends, and again. And like, also when you've got your events, you can have people sort of sitting around here because yeah. it's such a massive sofa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these, these, by the way, take a little seat. Let me know what you think. <laughs> nice. It's big, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like one of those ones just kind of just like, yeah, you just you want just to lie, kind of down. lie back and <laughs> have a little chill. We've got our office space, which is just very simple, but like, again, it's just, we put it on that side of the room uh, because we wanted to make sure that, well, one, there isn't actually much kind of like natural light in this space, right? We have yeah. like limited natural light. So yeah. that was like a very, easy decision for you to yeah so I think everything else is very sort of big and bold and dramatic but this is a space where people are going to need to work so it needs to be really calming you need to be able to actually do some work here but yeah four desks um four nice and simple chairing kind of system going on here mm -hmm. uh we've got a little usb ports we've got yeah it's just kind of nice because you've got your own little kitchenette so it's just I'm thinking kind of more future now peeps like I'm kind of thinking like this space not just for visitors, but I'm thinking for staff and I'm thinking for building a team and, you know, I want them to be as comfortable as possible. I want them to come, have a place to feel creative or do what work they need to do and actually mm -hmm. feel, yeah, comfortable when at home and actually feel like they're in a nice, clean area. So yeah. that was that. One more room that we haven't discussed and I haven't shown you properly, Abigail, but there's not really much to show you. We're not going to show them this because it's actually <laughs> a little bit of a mess. But in here, peeps, uh, what we've named as the studio is just very simply and Nathan's going to show them a very nice clean B-roll image or footage of this one that we've already taken. But inside here is just our photo studio where we take our product pictures and we've talked about this loads and loads of times. But this was a room that you just kept blank for me, wasn't it? it was yes, just to do this yeah. kind of thing, which was to kind of keep our bits and bobs and yeah, do our lighting set up, get our product pictures, get our portrait images and change the backdrops and things like that. So it's a kind of like a, a room that we really needed. You created like some serious stuff here. Good, and, I'm uh, glad you like it. We would never have <laughs> been able to do it without your help. Big up. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Abigail needs to shoot off today, but before she goes, we're gonna get to sign that little bit. Yeah. And any last kind of words? Are you happy? I know you, yeah, you seem happy. Yeah, yeah. I was always, like I said, I was always a little bit kind of shook. Like, I was like, shit, man, hopefully she likes this, man. <laughs> um, because you put a lot of, a lot of time and effort yeah. into this evening. Yeah, yeah, no, it's been, it was a lot to, to take on, but it's, there's so many parts that look exactly like the video and it's always going to change yeah. as you as you go on site and things don't really work out how you think it's going to work out um but generally i think this is the best it could have been and i'm really happy with it and uh, i think that would be probably a long video i'm not sure how long it's going to take guys but it's going to be a, quite a long video we just wanted to give you a lot of detail as much as possible the little touches the little ideas the thoughts it's not easy what she's done i think when you see something like this it kind of people are like taken back but there's a lot of work that goes on behind yes, the scenes. it was a lot of A work. lot of time, months and months of planning, um, tons and tons of cost. What do you think this cost me? I have no idea. I think this is so unique, it's so hard to sort of estimate at this point. Nathan, what do you reckon? Well, just for the fit out? Yeah. 150? He's right, 150. 150,000? 150, yeah. Oh my gosh, wow. Well, I guess. 150. It's a lot of money. <laughs> it's hit me That's now, just even listening to yeah. It's hit me now, just like even saying it back. It was just longer than we expected building work. Yeah. It was a lot more material cost than we expected because of the cost and the economy and the, the everything else that's going wrong in the world. The choice of chairs, rooms <laughs> that were not meant to be as, yeah, oh, that just kind of hurt me now. Just hear that word. <laughs> this is like a cathedral, you know, it's yeah. going to stand the test of time. This is going to oh, be your what brand. a line. A cathedral. <laughs> it's going to stand the test of time. Yeah. This will be here for, for a long time. Oh, I love that. Know. That's made me feel better. Another little stuff for that. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to close out the video there. Abigail, say bye to the crew. Bye. <laughs> uh, check out 
here's her details, Cherry Architects. Yeah. Wherever you are in the world, hit her up, go check her work, she's amazing. And um, you guys are at home as well, because this again would never have happened without you guys. You are the foundations of this place, AKA the cathedral. Yeah, this is now the cathedral, it's the Mecca of Skipping, it's the home. Um, and you guys all made it happen. So without further ado, see you in the next video, people. Give this video a big thumbs up. Love you all. Peace out. Ciao. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Would put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now.